Webflow tutorial for beginners how to use Webflow to create your own website. Hello guys, Ilya here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we use webflow.com to create our own website. Basically this software provides us the opportunity to create it from scratch or you can use their own templates, we can customize them and then just use as our own website. Basically it's not that hard so let's get started. Firstly we need to visit webflow.com, their own website. Website. In the top of the screen we have some information about product, solution, resources, enterprise and of course uh, pricing. Basically we can start for free so let's get started. We need to click on start building in the central part of main page or we can click on get started in the right top corner. So after that we'll have to create our own account. Basically we can continue with our email or we can continue with gmail basically i'll do this because as for me this is the easiest way so let's choose one of our emails to start creating basically now we are on our start page in the top of the screen we have four folders like dashboard with our projects here marketplace if we'll click we'll go to overview libraries apps hire an expert templates or made in webflow so if we'll go to uh, you know marketplace we can find a lot of templates we can use some of the, uh, them are paid and some of them are totally free so basically you can also like you know create your template and try to sell it using webflow basically as for me it's pretty cool also we have like learn folder where we can find a lot of stuff we can use and of course like resources let's go to dashboard start creating our own project so basically all we need to do is just to click on a new website this purple button here and after that we'll come to this page where we can choose the blank site as you can see just fr simply free um, we can uh, add everything we can we need or we can choose the template which are right up here as you can see three of them are free and new templates of course some recommendations here so uh, we can pay and then just use them to create our own uh, website basically there is like also free templates provided so sometimes it could be really helpful for example this one is pretty good so let's try to use one of their templates which are provided in like first section here let's try to use business starter right up here so all we need to do is just to click on select and we'll come to this page so we'll need to set the site names let it be like the name of uh, our you know channel I'll click on create site and after that we'll come to our editor page where we need to customize our text so also I'd like to show you some of the options we can use uh, to add some examples here firstly in the left side menu we have like a lot of stuff we can add some elements here as you can see this plus button also there is like block with components as you can see we have like footer cda and navigation now also there is like a navigator folder uh, there is like pages folder of course cms collection our users we can add a lot of users here to work on this project together sometimes it would be really helpful also there is like our store and there is like some materials we can use like icons different different icons different assets and so on in the central part there is like our scene where we can find uh, how does our site looks like so as you can see it looks like this in the top of the screen we also have the option to switch between devices for example this is like our desktop or laptop we can switch to a tablet we can switch to this one here and we can also view how does it looks like if you'll we'll use our phone here so basically it's pretty helpful because we can you know use it like this we can also add like different breakpoint and so on so basically i won't do this i'll just switch back to my computer so this is a web how can be viewed for different devices also uh, what can we do there is like all the parts here are available to customize so we can click on every single part firstly it will be opened in our navigation here so as you can see this is our heading uh, we can simply change everything we need for example we can change the title so let's write our channel name 
also what can we do in the right side there is like all the opportunities we can change the margin we can change some other stuff uh, we can change spacing layout size we can change the size here we can change the background color the color of our font so basically it's pretty helpful so as you can see we can just simply choose the pleat and then just choose the text we need so basically all the features we need to edit with this element for example are displayed here in the bottom like effects like borders like um, overflow and so on also there is like setting with visibility and user assess custom attributes and so on like style management and of course interaction so we can add some triggers and so on for example if somebody will click some actions will be performed the same way with every single part here so we can customize the heading like the second heading best tutorials for example and also like change everything we need so this is how can we interact with every single part for example with this button let's try to change some margin from the right side maybe like this we can also change the flexbox for example or do some other stuff so we can change it to like flexbox in uh, horizontal make it like central and then just central like this so basically a lot of options are provided from webflow we can use easily uh, and in order to add something for example we can easily you know click on plus here and go to the at the bottom of the screen probably and let's try to add maybe uh, some a section or maybe let's add maybe one more button here so elements can be dragged into component instances edit components to add elements so we need to click on our component here and then just click on plus and after that we're able to add it basically maybe not that easy but something went wrong so um, maybe we cannot edit this part here so this is a way of how can we basically customize things here we can also like uh, customize every single navigation part or do some other stuff so uh, this is where how can we interact with this thing we can also share in the right top corner here or we can publish it like this uh, to publish some uh, website to show it to everyone if you'll go back to our webflow we can find it uh, right up here so we can continue to edit or do some other stuff if you'll go to their basically you know uh, prices or or something like this we can find a lot of different plans at least like four plans for paid and one for uh, free uh, what is the difference the biggest difference is in domain name so in free we only have a flow.io domain and um, in other stuff we can use like custom domains here and also there is like the number of uh, store we have like bandwidth and so on so basically this is the main differences and i think that webflow provides us the opportunity to try it for free and if you're interested in like future communication we can like buy the paid plans so this is a, uh, the way of how can we use webflow hope this video helped you out if it is please leave a like comment and subscribe i wish you a very good day goodbye